Hi, this is Ted B. again from uh, Computer Audio File and Audio Circle, and this is part two of our uh, J-River tutorial, and I've decided to uh, combine both parts two and three, tagging and creating custom views and importing them into J-Remote, uh, into the same video because uh, they play off each other, and I'll, I'll bring that up in a little bit. Um, in terms of tagging, or what we mean by adding metadata or information to your, your files so that you can sort on them, and browse easier. Um, the first thing, it starts from the source and whether we are ripping CDs or DVDs or downloading, ripping essay CDs, whatever, um, it's good to have a standard setup when you uh, create files and create their tags. And so one of the things I do, such as in MP3 tag uh, or in EAC if I'm ripping CDs, is I create a file name, the actual file name of the file uh, as being track number, artist, album, title. And I make sure the track number is in the file name because it makes it much easier uh, to sort file names uh, 1 through, in this case, 1 through 16 uh, so that you can tag them easier, especially if you have the tag sitting next to you and you're fat fingering them in or if you're copying them from another CD or another source. Uh, it's 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 very good to have the file n track number uh, on your file name. All right, so so be it. Um, so tags. Tags uh, can be dealt with in JRiver. Really, it, just like other things in JRiver, in about four different ways. Um, there is the way to tag it via the menu. So we go up here to edit, and there's a tag option. Um, you can tag it from the action window, which is where I do a lot of my work. Okay, here, put in tag, and it creates all these, it, it shows all the different tags that are in there. I will show things like show tags in current view so it's not so large. Um, you can, uh, let's take this album for example. You can create tags by highlighting any, either a song or an album, and right clicking. And there's also a tag function there. Um, or let's start off the most basic, and that is to just click on any sort of field within the file. So in this case, I noticed that Old Double Moon has some additional characters that I don't want in there. Okay, So just double click on it, backspace, you're done. All right, That's the, the, the simplest way of doing a single item edit, is just doing it straight into... Uh, the the file name itself or the this, the uh, the tag itself. Um, let's say you want to tag an entire album with something. All right, so I have an album that I uh, in I think my DSD catalog that I noticed the other day um, that is Copeland conducts Copeland. It's a rip I did from RCA Living Stereo. But I noticed that the artist name and the album name are the same. Now that's obviously a mistake. The artist should be Aaron Copeland. So we highlight, and in this case, I go to my tag window, and I go up here to artist, and I say, how does Aaron spell his name? Is it A-A-R-O-N? Yes, it is. Aaron Copeland. If it finds it in other albums, it will put it up. Aaron Copeland, there we go. And it's done for the whole album. All right, so basically, anytime you want to do um, either an album name, an artist name, or something that is specific to the whole playlist or album, you would highlight them all and change it once. So that that's pretty easy. How about um, multiple albums? Um, so let's get rid of this tag window for right now. So uh, multiple albums. Let me go to artist here, and if you'll see, there's two albums that look very similar and for some reason they are listed separately. Well they're listed separately because the artist name is incorrect uh, and it's, it's, it's not consistent. In this case it is uh, 52 Street, 52nd Street Blues Project, ST for street. In this case it has the street name. So I can simply highlight both, highlight all if you will, um, again, go to tag. I'll go to it here this time just to show you a different way of getting in. And under the name varies, I could say the 52nd 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put street on there. Blues. Whoops, 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 whoops. You know, it's, notice it's not coming up. It's not coming up because I was putting it in name, which is track name and not artist. Okay, I don't want the track name to be this. So come up here and do the wonderful undo. All right, so then artist. The 52nd. All right, which one of those do I want? I want this one. Um, all right, then we're done. So you just highlight both. Now, when I get back into my artist category, you'll see it'll only be listed once instead of having two of them. So we showed you how to do a single item, how to do a whole album, how to do multiple albums. Um, now I'd like to do a uh, one where we've done a rip, which right here is a rip I just did uh, off of DVD. Um, it's in 2496. This is how DVD Audio uh, Explorer or Audio Extractor uh, uh, sent it to me. Now, as you see, they're in track numbers, so they're in, they're in order. Um, this happens to be a Miles Davis 2-2 album, and I realized that I had this CD and I'd forgotten to rip the DVD audio, which is, uh, frankly, much better. So if I just go up here and search on 2-2, the album, there it is. Highlight the whole album. Do a control C. This is called tag pasting. So I'm going to take the entire album, assuming that it is in order, and it is track order one through eight. So I've now copied that tag. Let me then go back. Highlight this. Do control shift V, which is paste, and it will come back and say, this will paste the tags on the clipboard into the selected files. Which tags do you want? I want them all. I say paste them, and there we go. The entire album is done. So this is where you have multiple versions of albums and your tags in one album. You want to look like the tags in the other album. Um, now, in this case, both albums are called Tutu. I don't want that to be the case. Um, so I'm going to go to my tag window, whichever way I want to. And this 2-2 album, I'm going to call 24, what was it, 192? No, it's 96 uh, sample rate, see? So I'm going to call it 2496. So this will differentiate it from the other 2-2 so that when I'm looking in the Miles Davis folder, uh, I know which one I'm playing. All right, so that's called paste tagging. Again, uh, highlight the album that you have the tags for, control C, uh, go to the album you don't have the tags for or want to change, and do control shift V, and uh, you can paste an entire album's worth of tags um, all at once. Um, here's a couple of, of tag tricks, and this comes from a capability that J River has called uh, expression language. So I've noticed uh, as an artist for artists, I've noticed that, where is she? That Amy Mann, that all of my Amy Mann track names are capitalized. I don't want them capitalized. I want them regular. So I'm going to highlight everything over to my tag bar. I'm going to go to name and I'm going to use an expression, and the expression is called fix case. And anytime you use an expression, use an equal sign. So you say fix case, and you tell it that it is the name field that I want to fix case, and you close the parentheses. So I want to fix case the name. Fix case is an expression. If you leave it as a, as a simple fix case expression, it will change your, anything you do, it will change it to title capitalizing, which means that you capitalize the main, the first letter of the uh, main words in the name, and it leaves the rest lowercase. You can also change that default. Uh, this looks wrong. I meant to put a bracket at the other end. And a close paren. You can make, and and by the way, undo is your friend. Um, so I'm going to do fix case here and say, okay, get out. 
there. Everything got changed to um, the standard fixed case. If you wanted to change the defaults in fixed case, you can read about them in the JRiver wiki called Expression Language. There's defaults for all caps, all lower, um, capitalize every, every word. So high on Sunday would have a capital O. I don't really care. I like to go with the, the default. But this allows you to, to go through your database, find all your mistakes like this, and you can capitalize, you can do things en masse. And these all caps issues are very prevalent when you're dealing with DSD files and files that are coming off of SACD rips and things. A lot of times things come across all caps and this is an easy way to fix them. Um, so that's one trick uh, in the expression language world called, um, called fix case. Um, all right. I told you that I wanted to do tagging and views in the same video for a reason. Um, I created, these are views over here. Views are nothing more to JRiver than different looks at your database. And they can have uh, rules associated with them. So your standard views that come with the product are albums, artists, files, genres, panes, which is a, uh, a non, uh, which is a, a, a file or a tabular view. Uh, recent albums. 3D albums is silly. Uh, I don't use it, but anyway, that is a, I use recent albums a lot because that way I can go through and go, okay, what haven't I worked on? What haven't I fixed in terms of, of tags? But I created a custom view. As you see, I've created quite a few here, 24-bit, DSD-128, DSD. I created one here, and these can all, by the way, be, be uh, exported to your remote control iPad app, but I'll show you one that I don't necessarily have for J Remote, I have it for my own um, fixing purposes, um, and I have it for maintenance here. Um, I'm going to do something where I look at all of my 88K, 88, 2488 albums, and as you see over here, um, some of them have a suffix, like I put on the Miles Davis one. They have a suffix called 2488. Uh, some of them don't, so. I am going to highlight all those that don't, and I'm not going to go through all of these. I'll just give you an example there. I, I've highlighted, uh, you know, several of them, right? Um, I will bring up my tag window again, and in this case, for album, I'm going to use an expression where we say equals album. Always put the uh, again, Ted, you screwed up. Equals. album, close bracket, space. Now I'm going to put a suffix at the end of the album name. It's not going to affect the album name, but I'm going to put a suffix at the end. And that suffix, and I'm going to use parentheses, as you see uh, in my other ones. So I'm, I need parentheses is a special character in the expression language. So all you do is you put a slash before the parentheses, and I'm going to say 2488, and again, the slash before the close parentheses, and I'm going to let them rip. And they've all come back with 2488 at the end of the album name. So I didn't affect the album name per se. I didn't call them all just simply 2488. And if you accidentally did that by leaving out the equal sign or doing something wrong, again, edit, undo is your friend. So that is an example, two examples of how the expression language, and one example of how a view um, can help you manage a lot of your tags within JRiver. I'm, I'm not gonna go into too much more details other than to say, if you're interested in expression language, go to the JRiver Wiki or Google JRiver Wiki expression language. All right, so let's go back to uh, these uh, views, such as files by sample rate. Let me show you how you build a very simple view and then how you can import it into JRiver so that J Remote so that you can uh, look at the view and use it uh, sitting at your listening position with your iPad. So again, here is audio. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say add a library view. That's what these are called. Or you could go in and customize some. I'm going to add a library view. I'm going to add an empty one. I'm going to call it Wave because I'm going to create a view that is simply all the Wave files in my database so that I can compare them to FLAC if I want to at some point. I like to do that occasionally when I get new pieces in to see if the source or the computer or whatever 
differentiates uh, sonically between wave and flat. It's a silly thing I do, but it's also a good way to show how to build a very simple rules-based uh, view. So I say, OK. Now, everything I do in this customized view window will show up here. So the first thing is I don't want to show it as panes. I want to show it as categories, meaning uh, cover art. And I want to add, I want to add album artist. And I want to add album. Okay, so there they are. I want to display an alphabet because it'll be a pretty big population. And here's the big issue with views. You can set rules. It's rules-based. So by rules-based, I mean that you don't have to continue to monitor and maintain these views. As soon as you add music into uh, your library, your database, if a view has a rule that's associated to it, such as a, you, you add a WAV file, it'll end up in this view automatically. So what I want is a very simple rule that says file type is WAV. Very simple. You just say apply. OK. Now everything that I've got in the background here is a wave. Uh, these are all wave albums, and so I could go ahead and add them and put wave behind them. I've done that for a lot of these, um, but that's my, my my point here. My point here is how easy it is to build a custom view, and then how easy it is under Tools, Options, Media Network, how easy it is to add the J Remote. Uh, as long as you've uh, checked off that you've got a media network that is out there and you have and it's created an access key. If you haven't done this, click on Use Media Network and it will walk you through how to create an access key, which is case sensitive. Once you create the access key, then you uh, use that access key in J Remote, and that's how J Remote talks to this J River. And if you have different J Rivers around your house for different purposes, you can have J Remote talk to each one of them uh, separately. Now, under Advanced, you go to Customize Views for Gizmo and Web Gizmo, which is what uh, the generic name of uh, a J Remote app is. And as you'll see, all right, Wave is in here. You want to add, ooh, Wave is in here, because I used to have Wave. I wanted to do this. You, you come in here and you say Audio Wave. So Add library item from standard view find it the one we added wave see I, I i it was already in there and i shouldn't have done that um i didn't clean this up well enough let's remove that so we don't have wave in here let's go in and add it library from standard view add wave up oh, i added it under artist i don't want to do that let's remove that i want to add it under audio Let's try again. Wave. OK. So now Wave is in there. Wave has been added as a customized view. And I have a picture here of J Remote app. Now, obviously, Wave isn't in here because this is a picture I took a while ago. But it shows my other custom views are in your J Remote app. 24-bit high-res and DSD. Those are both views that aren't standard with either J River or J Remote, but they're automatically added. So that's how you do it. It's fairly simple, and uh, it's very effective when you want to go out and have better uh, access, better flexibility, better convenience for browsing, sitting by your uh, listening chair with your iPad or Android's got Web Gizmo uh, apps as well. I, I happen to love J Remote, as I mentioned in the uh, other video. All right, so uh, we've gone over tagging, how to tag a single item, uh, albums, multiple albums, how to paste tags uh, from uh, one version of an album into another, um, how to do fix case so you can fix all caps, um, how to do uh, uh, album uh, suffixes so you can add things to the end of albums, um, and and then how to create and import custom views on both J River and uh, J Remote. Uh, if you want to uh, to go in and customize, you don't like the way your view looks. Here's DSD 128. You come in here and customize view. Again, it's showing me what I have done. Here's my rules. 
my rules are that the file type is DFF or DSF, and the sample rate is that sample rate for uh, DSD 128. Um, you could also add one where it says channels equals two. Uh, should you have multi-channel versions of the of the uh, music, and you don't want to show them here because this isn't a Jerry River that handles multi-channel, for example. So you could put that in here to e even further delineate down what um, your search and what your edit criteria is. Okay, so that's it for uh, tagging and custom views. If you have any questions, post them on any of the forums. Um, I'm going to put this up as soon as I can and have it uh, uh, showing certainly first on Audio Circle and then I'll put it on Computer Audio File. And uh, thanks for listening. Our next uh, and final video in this series will be about uh, conversions, offline conversions from PCM to DSD or vice versa, as well as a little more information about upsampling uh, for specific DACs. Okay, thanks for uh, listening and we'll see you soon.